Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 15th annual Royal Oak Holiday Magic Parade. My name is Andy Aubrey, and my co-host today is the one and only Carlo Giannotti. Carlo, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Andy, and I'm looking forward to this parade every year. I don't sleep until <laughs> this day. And today, it's a beautiful day, and uh, I hope all of you are looking forward to this parade. And uh, just gonna, great things are going to happen today. They sure are, and we have some people we'd like to thank. Carlo, who would that be? That would be the Imagine Theater and... The Ironwood Grill. And not to mention our uh, people in the military who are serving and away from their families today. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks to all of them. So with that, we will get this parade started as we see the police car down the road, which signals the start of this parade. Let's get it rolling. All right. Can't wait. Thanks to your generosity, Marines have delivered Christmas to children in need since 1947. All right, Andy, here we go. The official beginning of every parade in Royal Oak and across the country is the, uh, of course, the Royal Oak Police Department and the Honor Guard. That's true, Carlo, and their mission, of course, is to keep Royal Oak safe. You see that printed on the side of their police vehicles. While adhering to the department's core values of integrity, service, courage, compassion, and loyalty. And coming up now is the Royal Oak uh, Police Department Honor Guard. They serve as the official representation of the police department's commitment to respect the service of the police officers who have fallen active and or retired. Got to give these guys a lot of credit. Yeah, I respect the work they do. It's incredible. They've been protecting the citizens of Royal Oak since 1913. They respond to over 6,000 runs annually, and they have 55 professional firefighters who are also cross-trained as paramedics. We have a great many things to be uh, thankful for here in Royal Oak, but uh, our police and fire is certainly one of those things. Yeah, top notch. I think that's the uh, that's the Bronto, isn't it? I don't know why they call that truck the Bronto, but it's a. Uh... Always say that you never uh, you never appreciate your police and fire until you need them. And hopefully we don't, but if nope, we do, no. they're available for us. They're there, and they're always there. On top of things. And uh, right behind them, we've got Rudolph, I think. Is that Rudolph? Rudolph walking on two legs. That's yes, right. well, you know, it is hunting season, so he wants to kind of, <laughs> right. he wants to make sure that uh, I'm not a deer, you He's know. He's probably as safe as he could be down here, I would assume. That's true, that's true. That but uh, we're glad to have him. Or her. All right, it was the Downtown Development Authority uh, and their uh, folks walking in the parade. Then after that, good old Jay Towers with 100.3 WNIC. There he is, There's waving. Jay right there. And the NIC vehicle. And Cam and Chelsea and the gang, 100.3. There's Jay right there. We got a good shot of him walking. Always a integral part of the parade here. He is. He's been a stalwart. You see is he his... running for office? He looks like he's you running think for so. office. He's yeah. got that wave down. I can see that. There you go, Oakland County uh, Sheriffs. Yeah, the Mounted Division. How about that horse? That's a representative of the Mounted Division, of course. We have a lot of more horses than uh, than that. I think. Yeah, there's more than just the one. Yeah, he is sure. the mounted division right we there. We have uh, seen them out at Independence Oaks on horseback, rolling around out in Clarkston. And the Oakland County Sheriff's Office Mounted Unit is started in 1948. It's one of the I, oldest horse patrol units in the country. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Of course, we always have the Harmony uh, Acres, speaking of horses, Harmony Acres uh, award-winning equine unit. 
They've ridden in nearly 600 of the largest parades in the Midwest. Did you know that? That's a bunch. I had no idea. Today I, I didn't greetings. count. You know, I, I didn't count. Well, we're usually we're traveling with all the parades, so uh, I'm a little surprised you didn't remember that. I feel bad. I do. I feel, I feel terrible about that, but I'll I'll learn. Maybe next year. That's right. Always a great time to see these ladies on horseback in their uh, leather chaps. And they're, yeah. They're doing doing good. I love the parade. Red leather. Red leather. Red Huge leather. With me, absolutely. Just a little while ago, we saw the uh, mounted division. Took a little flash on TV, but that is uh, crowd control. I think that's what they do best. And this, it must be doing a good job because this crowd seems pretty well under control. I think so. I think so. So far. Well, I'll tell you, you know, this day turned out to be one of the nicest days of the year. We got a little snow, so it feels like Christmas. Sure does. But it's sunny, so it. Feels like Christmas. Yeah. With sun. And here we have the uh, Genesis Credit Union. They're always uh, they're always up for a parade. That's true. They're yeah. one of the sponsors of today's parade. Uh, Genesis, uh, it's a nonprofit uh, member-owned financial institution that's been around since 1936. Did you know that? I had no idea. I do know they're located at 530 North Main Street, north no, of see, 11 I didn't miles. Know that. That's right. They also have 24. Additional Southeast Michigan branch locations. 24, I thought for sure it was 25. But you're saying <laughs> 24, right, no, I'll take your word for it. Let's go with 24. Okay, all right. That's good. And, uh, you know, I always feel sorry for the people carrying this flag. We see the flag, one of the largest flags in the continental United States, uh, being uh, dragged, basically, down the street. <laughs> yes. And it's one large kite. It is. If they all just get picked up and fly away, I wouldn't be surprised. Handling the flag today is the Royal Oak High School hockey team, 2015-16, the Ravens, and the Frank Wendland, post-253 Cub Scout back. And uh, I need that to clear that's out. a great honor. This is where we need that drone camera. Yeah. Overhead, you know. This flag has made many parades. Yes. It's in the Memorial Day parade. And of course, the holiday magic parade. That's this. That is the holiday That's magic. That's where we are. Today. Okay, yes. good. Let's check. And we're seeing a lot of magic today. The magic of the holiday spirit is among us. Andy, uh, the, while we're waiting, uh, while we're out on the flag going by, uh, the uh, Frank Wendland Post 253 Cub Scouts have been around since 1921. Do you know that? Wow, I do now. Yeah, well, that's why you're here. That's right, I'm here to learn. You learn things. I'm here to learn and teach. And after that, we got the Royal Oak uh, 253 American Legion Post. And there's Frank Wendland and the, the crowd, the guys. It's always great to have these guys around, I'll tell you. Got some World War II vets there. Oh yeah. This is a good time uh, to remember those uh, in the military that can't be with their family on a day like today. Oh, absolutely. Especially at the holidays, you know, you you really feel that that sense of commitment, and dedication to the, this great country of ours, and, and uh, we thank all the service people for their great work, and dedication. This is true. This is true. And now, look who it is. After the Wendland Post with the Royal Oak City Commission, Mayor Ellison. There's doing Mayor a Ellison fine right there. job of waving, as he always does. Yeah, we've got the uh, Royal Oak City Commission and their family. Uh, these folks, uh, truly, this is a 48th uh, Commission, Royal Oak. And uh, we've got the commissioners, uh, Mike Fournier. We've got uh, Pat Perouche. Kyle DeBuck and his family, Dave Colton and his family, Charlene Douglas and Jeremy Marley. City Commission's mission is to uh, keep our streets safe. There's uh, Mayor Ellison, one of the longest serving mayors in the uh, history of uh, the world, I think. Isn't it? <laughs> well, it's definitely the longest in Royal Oak. We did it get is, that confirmation. He's a great guy. He great will begin guy. serving his seventh term in December. Seventh time. Seven, and he won by a narrow margin. His last know, time. His last time. Yeah, yeah. He did run on a post, but it was still a squeaker, I guess. He sort of <laughs> snuck in there at the last minute. So. You and I will both get a call from Jim in the morning. 
well, after I, this airs. I will, that's for sure. <laughs> no, Jim, we love you. You're doing a great job for Royal Oak, and uh, keep up the good work. Andy loves you. I'm just very fond of you. Yes, that's right. No, it's, it's Roy, right. Royal Oak love. Here we are. Enough frivolity. On to the uh, Caper Fay Piper Band. You know, I got to tell you, in just a minute before we shut up and uh, let these guys play, there isn't a parade without a Piper Band, I'll tell you. That is true. Let's hear what they sound like. Okay. After the pipe band, we've got the Northwood Elementary Girl Scouts all dressed up in packages, spreading their cheer, giving back to the community as they do so well. And uh, they wanted us to uh, give the message uh, that may peace be your gift during the holidays and your blessing all the year through. That's a very touching message that they uh, hand out. It's a great message. I subscribe. Well, Where the we holidays are all about children. and. Uh, Children, not just by age, but uh, the spirit. That's right. And I, I, I also agree that not only are the holidays about children, they're about skyward real estate. Well, yes, of course. And they, they, they come up behind us, uh, behind the, the Girl Scouts, along with Midwest Medical Billing. And there they are. Wouldn't be a holiday without uh, real estate and <laughs> medical billing. <laughs> That's what I always but they, say. But they are proud sponsors of the uh, Holiday Magic Parade. That's and right. uh, we're glad to have them. Some lively uh, lively people up there on that float, I'll tell you. They got a bunch up there, don't they? The thing is... Uh, I hope that's code. Splitting at the seams. They're throwing something out. They're I don't know what it is. They're throwing It's a football. It's a skyward football. We scored. Give it to this lady over here. That, here she uh, is. Oh, she got one. Okay. You got one? Yes. Yeah, Midwest uh, Medical Billing provides electronic billing services professional for professional providers. Skyward Real Estate is the original downtown real estate company. I did not know that, but I do now. There you go. We've learned a lot today already. We have. That's why I do this every year. It's <laughs> a broad new horizon. Now here's Madeline, the music, by the Project Daydream. Yep. Yeah, uh, they are putting on the play in C at Seaholm. Seaholm High School in Birmingham. Oh. Tickets available at projectdaydream.org, which is... Uh, Production company proud to present the cast of Madeline. First weekend of December, folks. That whole Madeline series was my daughter's favorite. Is that right? As a child oh band. yeah, I remember that one for sure. And here, of course, uh, we have the Royal Oak uh, High School Marching Band. 107 members. They do a lot of things around here. Uh, they do uh, community performances. And they play at every home football game. Let's hear what they have.
And of course, where would we be after the band? We have the uh, Royal Oak High School dance team, the varsity dance team. This team performs at the Royal Oak football, basketball games, plus other school events. Not for sure they'd give us a little performance here, but uh, maybe next year. Well, they're moving quite fast here. We got medals in time after that. And then after them, the Redford Township Unicycle Club. And they are absolute standouts at every parade, Memorial Day Parade. We do this every year, the Holiday Magic Parade. And the group is sort of loosely based. They can come, whoever can make it comes out. Oh, yeah. They got great balance, I know that. They do, they do. This is always one of the high points of the parade, of course. And usually we make jokes about doing that in our youth, but uh, I think by now it's run its course. No one knows that, uh, no one can believe that we did anything like this in our youth. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I'm pretty sure. We, we uh, gave short shrift to medals in time before that, but uh, they're another proud sponsor of this parade. That's right, we're uh, medals in time. Been your engagement leader in Royal Oak since 1998. The uh, Unicycle Club here has actually become the face of the parade. You see it all over the place. It's on Facebook. You see it uh, mm -hmm. on the news. Maybe it's the color. Maybe it's their talent. Who knows? We'll never know. It could be both. It's something that appeals to the masses. I, I don't, most people can't ride a unicycle, or maybe even never try. So for that, <laughs> they're fathom even trying to ride. I can barely walk straight sometimes, <laughs> and these guys are on one wheel. That's impressive, and ladies. That's true. That's true. Uh, I heard about that. The Goldfish Swim Club. Maybe you'd do better in the water, Andy. I'd, I'd rather take my chance of swimming. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty good at Goldfish that. Swim School is Michigan's first learn to swim facility, dedicated entirely to infants and children, and dogs apparently. <laughs> I don't know about that. Is that true? Maybe. If you're interested, uh, you could, of course, visit goldfishswimschool.com to learn more about classes, times, and availability of those classes. I will look that up, even though I already know how to swim. I mean, I don't want to brag, but... Maybe I'll just go and watch. Pretty good at it. Well, you could. Just Girl Scout Troop 71628. Well, I mean, I'll tell you, they're another regular in these parades. And that's right, they're based at Keller Elementary here in Royal Oak. And the girls love community service. In their first year, they did a food drive for the South Oakland Shelter and adopted two families for Christmas. Cleaned up a Royal Oak Park and did a pet supply drive. Speaking of pets, there's the goldfish dog right there that we're looking at. He's the official mascot. He's having a good time. He is, just like these little girls. Boy, I'll tell you. They're singing a Christmas song, it sounds like. Oh, there's a clown. A, a clown, Christmas clown. A clown that's lost its way. <laughs> there's a Christmas clown, of course. He's throwing um, small lumps of coal into the crowd, I believe. I'm sure that you and I will get one. <laughs> I'm sure we will. I get one every year. He's trying to, he's trying to get the crowd pumped up here, Andy. I'm, he's whipping them into a... Uh, Fever. He's got them singing some sort of Christmas song, or maybe maybe he's trying to get the different sides of the street competing against each other. Possibly. That could that be considered inciting a riot? I'm going to talk to the mayor about we that. We need. Yeah. And there's a lot of authorities around here. I'm surprised he's been so cavalier with his, his behaviors. He's dropped his uh, his juggling juggling apparatus. Device. Yes, <laughs> whatever that is, he's juggling. Okay, I, I think he's a cross between Ronald McDonald and uh, um, Oopsie. Oopsie the or Clown. Or it could be Milky the Clown. Now you're Milky dating yourself. I remember oh. Milky. Farm Maid. Yeah, Farm Maid. Farm Maid Dairy. Yeah. Yeah. Farm Maid Dairy was another clown that still haunts my youth today. <laughs> the side of the milk carton as you're <laughs> eating your cereal in the morning. He looks like a friendly clown, though. Yeah, really this does. is not a scary clown no, by no. any means. He's coming this way, so... Okay, but I'm going to head out of here just yeah, to be I'm, safe. Just in case. You take it from here. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be a gap in the band because right behind the clown is Borgo Sisters. But we're going to wait. The clown seems to be uh, doing some street mime over there. He's 
a juggler. I see that. I give him credit for that. I mean, that takes practice. Okay. All right, now we got the, the Borgo dance ladies of Royal Oak, made up of dancers 9 to 17 years old. I'm pretty sure they're going to stop and give us a little performance. I would hope so. Yeah, I mean, uh, what would a Christmas parade be without the Borgo sisters dance uh, group? What do you call that, a troop? I'm it's, not sure. Let's call a them a troop. troop? I'll, troop? Okay. I'll go with that, sure. All right, troop it is. It's the dance of the candy canes, I think. It is the, <laughs> the pink striped candy canes. Yes, That's right. Yes. You know it, you love it. It's a Christmas tradition. And the float, of course, is a big globe. Snow globe? There's no, it's not snowing in the globe right no, now, though. No, no. It's snowing outside the globe. Hello, well, ladies. Of course, they can't wave. They're, they're dancing. <laughs> they're focused. They're also about to kick our cameras over. Yes. That's okay. But that is the Art Van float. They are with? Art Van, I would imagine. Yes. I don't see Art, however. He's uh, probably shoveling the sidewalk on that mansion. That I goes. think he probably has somebody doing that for him. Yeah. I would hope. I don't know. If Art Van know. can't get somebody to do his landscaping, there's no hope for any of us. He's been a very successful bridge over here in Detroit for many years. And as we bid adieu to the Borgo Sister Dance Troupe, we welcome in Andiamo Trattoria. Andiamo is a family, uh, family uh, eating establishment established in Royal Oak and elsewhere. Great food, Andy. Oh my, I mean Andiamo, it's about as good as it gets, isn't it? Can't get much better than that. No, that's, that's top notch. That is class A, grade A. First, yes it is. First quality. What the holidays are about right there. Yummy food. In fact, I, uh, I may visit uh, that establishment as soon as we're done. Right, run right over there, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, in fact, uh, I might go now if you can take care of the rest <laughs> of the parade. I got you covered, Carl. All right, thank you very much. Re report back to me, would you? But in the meantime, we've got Cub Scout Troop 1627. Royal Oak, they've been in Royal Oak since 1939. When there were only when there were more than nine elementary schools, did you know that? I nine had no idea. Schools. I'll tell you what, they better hustle because they got a monster truck on their tail right now. Big monster truck. That's the Madman Motorsports monster truck, not just any monster truck. And again, <laughs> again, what would Christmas be without Madman here? This monster truck is uh, twenty thousand pounds of pure. Joy. You are talking 650 horsepower right there. Excalibur. Yeah. I think the Madman's getting uh, much more attention than uh, Santa Claus might, but we'll see because Santa Claus hasn't been here yet. Make it a whole lot of noise. And there is. A oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Fire it up. That's what it's all about. The uh, Madman Motorsports. Of course, you're talking 2016 Miss Michigan, amazing, and 2016 Young Miss Michigan, amazing. That's amazing. That is incredible. They are. Lovely. Marilyn was recently crowned uh, Miss Michigan, amazing, and uh, she's a full-time student at Henry Ford College, and is passionate about helping children with hair loss. How about parade hosts with hair loss? Uh, I was going to say that, but uh, we'll talk to her after the parade. I'm sure she's got something for you, some tonic over there she can help with. I think so. Sophia Fasano is uh, in there with her, and uh, she's young Miss Michigan Amazing. She's a Royal Oak native and enjoys playing flute and volleyball. Not at the same time, though. No, no, no. That'd well, be, you don't know. That it could be, be tough. Thing. Hey, well, you, know, you never know. <laughs> let's, uh, let's track that. Now we've got uh, Lessinger uh, Scouts. That's right, from Madison Heights, Daisy Troop, uh, Junior Troop, Brownie Troop, Cub Scout. Oh, they're all together here from Lessinger. Yeah, they've got a couple Brownie pack. We've got a Cub Scout pack. 
And we got some Daisy troops here too. They're the Lessinger Scouts collectively. It's good to have these young men and women. Future community service experts, I we'll think say, so. in training. Liaisons to the, uh, the community in large. The greater good. Now, I think they're broken down into different units here, but uh, collectively they, they share a spot in our heart. All with their Christmas finery on. There with their parents, it's a good thing to see. Uh, good thing, good thing to see the youth in our community. And right behind them, we've got Ferndale High School marching band. This is like their tenth year in uh, being in the uh, Holiday Magic Parade, I think, isn't it? I believe it is, and uh, they got some talent. They got some skills. Let's hear what they sound like. All righty. They sound good. They do, they do. You know, and they're competitors too. They've uh, they've been involved in some of the uh, competitive band uh, events around the state, and they really look forward to coming to this parade because it's fun more than competitive. That reminds me of the time, one time in band camp. You went to, you were in a band, weren't you, Andy? Uh, no, I missed that aspect oh, of life, okay. unfortunately. You have a you have an experience? I remember that time at band camp. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that was good. Sure, I remember. Yeah, we'll no, talk about that later. We will, but bring that up of later. Of course, right now we've got the English Gardens coming through here. We got the Stillwalkers first. Look at those guys. Stillwalk the lady Stillwalkers, Stillwalkers from the Detroit uh, Circus. Yeah. yeah. Lady Stillwalkers. They are available for your event. Circus style performers with specializing in acrobatics, fire spinning, contortion juggling, and object manipulation. Okay, well. I'm all about the contortion and the object manipulation. Yeah, we're just going to leave it at that for the Christmas Let's just spirit. leave it there for now. Would we please? <laughs> Thank you. After them, we've got the English Gardens, as you mentioned. Well, of course. Well, of you course. got to reach around to get those ornaments hung, you know, behind the one that's against the wall. Right, and, and that would be the uh, definition of object manipulation. And, and contortion, probably. I think. Just wanted to make sure we were clear on that. So, after that, we've got the uh, Adams Elementary Girl Scouts. There they are. All in their uh, fighter. Oh, we have the, uh, those Lancers and their crazy machines. I still remember the one year when they, remember that, the guy lost a wheel? Yes, it went rolling away. I do. The Shrine Lancers do great work, though. They help children with orthopedic burns, spinal cord, cleft lip, palate, and other problems from all over the world at no charge to the patient or family. The director, of course, is uh, David Talbert Sr. Thank you, David, for bringing your, uh, your Lancers. You got the Royal Oak Restaurant Association uh, coming up soon. That's right. And, Carla, we want to mention, too, that uh, downtown restaurants, uh, Many of them are participating in a Kids Eat Free program Sundays through December 27th. That's a, uh, that's a big event, a big thing. I mean, you bring your kids down here, you do a little shopping, you keep your money local here in Royal Oak. Right. And while you're doing it, your kids eat free at uh, selected restaurants. In fact, I think there's a website that you can go to to check. Yeah, Royal, RoyalOakDine.org, is that what it is? I think it's the uh, Dine Royal Oak 
Facebook.org. There it is. Okay. One of those two. I'm sure that uh, Google it. Richard Wilson will have a uh, the name of the little uh, uh, graphic. Uh, now we. You know, uh, you mentioned uh, a lot of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, and I'd like to give this opportunity while we're watching the uh, crazy man on their unicycles. I'd like to thank DPW uh, for uh, making this all happen. I mean, behind the scenes, they're setting uh, barricades, closing off streets, and doing uh, all the things that we don't really notice, but this parade wouldn't be possible without them, so thanks. All right, and they had an extra challenge on their hands, this time with the snow that fell last night, so outstanding job keeping the uh, roads free and clear, and it's tough to ride a unicycle in five or six inches of snow out here. So it is. It is. You know. I can just imagine. Yeah. But we had the parade company there pass by with the three little pigs, and then Cirque Among Us from Livonia, Michigan, where the uh, there's you see right there the wacky bicycles. That is one wacky bicycle. I'll tell you. We got the uh, got a couple events. We got uh, the Royal Oak Kiwanis Club coming up. We've got the candy band. We've got all kind of different things coming up here. Yeah, Boy, the, this is an exciting parade. The, I, I just, it's hard for me to even stay calm. It's, it's <laughs> control yourself, Carla, but let's listen to the candy band for a minute. All while right, I need the break. While you're doing that. Candy Band, we got the 4th Street Auto Center. They've been taking care of our cars for 42 years at 303 East 4th Street. And then, well, they're coming fast now, Carlo. We got the Royal Oaks Real Robotics fast. team after that, and then Lily Seafood, who right across the street from, by the way. This is when uh, having a speed reading course would come <laughs> in very helpful. Yes. Lily Seafood, of course. We're standing right across. How ironic is that? I We're watching the unit walk by in front of their own restaurant. Of course, that's bound to happen. Is that fake snow or real snow that's coming down? I think it's not real. Quite, yeah, we're not quite sure. It's coming, uh, blowing off the trees. Lily's, of course, has been a part of this community for 16 years, providing good eats and good drinks. Got the Royal Oak Children's Choir, Andy. What would a holiday be without the Children's Choir? That's right. Royal Oak Children's Choir is a, in case you were wondering, I could, I could tell. Royal Oak Children's Choir is a musical performing group serving Southeast Oakland County. And also longtime participants in our Christmas tree lighting ceremony over at the uh, Farmer's Market, which will be coming up shortly. After that, after the Children's Choir, look who it is, Carl. Oh, no, I can't believe it. it it's is. the one, the only. Pause, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. I see the tigers, the tigers mascot there. And you know, he's usually sweating profusely on Memorial Day when it's, you know, in right. the eighties. Now it's sometimes he's nice sweating sir, during some of their games. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> there he you. is though. The man, the myth, the legend. Could be the woman, the myth, the legend. We'll never we know. know. That's the mystery of it. That's the mystique. Pause is kind of a unisex uh, <laughs> character. And androgynous, uh, kind yes. of a, you know. No one's really of course, I'm sure I'll be corrected by the Zoological Society because it's a tiger. Probably so, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure by the markings you can probably tell, but it doesn't matter. He's a favorite <laughs> anyway. And with Paws, we have... Uh, who else do we have with Paws there? I, I'm well, I think, was that Smart? They were all together there? The. Uh, I think so. Smart Bus. Suburban Mobility Authority for Regional Transportation. In case you're wondering what Smart stood for. And we missed the Derby Girls, did we not? No, here come the Derby Girls. Now we got the Derby Girls with music accompanying them behind. We're going to get drowned out by the uh, 
Motor City Marching Band. So let's talk about the Derby girls here real quick. Uh, 11 seasons. 11 years. They play, uh, they perform at the Masonic Temple. You can see them there December 19th, as a matter of fact. For tickets, visit DetroitDerbyGirls.com. Fun for the whole family. All right. And let's uh, listen to the Motor City Heat Marching Band. Was, of course, the Motor City Heat Marching Band. They got a groove to them. They There's do. No they doubt do. about that. I tell you, get you in the mood for sure. We've got First Merit Bank coming up behind them, and followed by the Cub Scout Pack 1607. Now, no truth to the rumor, First Merit Bank and Genesis Credit Union are going to have a rumble at the end of the parade route. There's, there's no truth. I think that. so. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. We got to get our cameras done. There was there. a weapons check, of course, before, <laughs> but you never know. Yes, it's all hand to hand combat. And we've got a Pinewood Derby theme here, I think. It looks like. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to call it a Pinewood Derby theme. Pack 1607. Northwood Elementary. I think I bought some firewood from them this year. Well, there you go. Good price, too. You're doing your part. After that, we've got Fifth Avenue Billiards and one of the favorite places there on Fifth. Favorite destination for viewing sporting events and more. We were still looking at the Cub Scouts. You were a Cub Scout, weren't you, Andy? I sure was, absolutely. So was my son and a tremendous organization. You know, I always said the Cub Scouts was offered us opportunities to do things that we just wouldn't have done otherwise, like going to feed the vets at the VA hospital breakfast and cleaning up people's yards. And the Operation Can Do is a big one for them. It's just an outstanding organization. That's true, that's true. It's a great institution. We saw a little shot of a, uh, look like a family, a mother and son watching the parade, having a good time. Yeah. There we see some uh, young children getting some candy. Another family, of course. Uh, this is quite the family event downtown here in Royal Oak. It's one of the best, you can't beat it. Look at all the smiling faces. I know who they're waiting for. Us? Well, aside from us, there's this guy in a big suit. Okay. And I don't mean Mayor Ellison. You're not talking Ellison either. Huh? No, okay. I'm talking about the man himself. Look at the, the faces of anticipation on their faces. They're excited. Ah, there's a little, uh, little affection right there. That, that's. Alrighty, we got a little break in the action, Andy. Why don't we take a little, uh, little break, and we'll come back in just a few seconds. Let's do it. Andy, we're back to the 15th annual Royal Oak Magic Parade, Holiday Magic Parade, and with us we have Worry-Free Lawn Service. We do. We got it all. We got uh, we got actually before the lawn service, we got Fairy Tale Entertainment. Now, what they do is they bring princesses, superheroes, pirates, and cartoon characters to your birthday party and parties of all kinds, actually. So, well, uh, I'll tell you, I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be looking for them at my next birthday. That's right. I'm going to assume you're going to order up Snow White or something, right? Yes, yes. All right, then we got Worry Free Lawns, but then after that, the Detroit School of Rock and Pop. Let's hear what they All have right. for let's, us. All right, let's hear what they have to tell us uh, about the holiday spirit. Well, 
I guess Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, after that, we've got uh, one of our presenting sponsors, the Ironwood Grill. And it's more than just a restaurant. It's a banquet center. And they offer entire entertainment experiences for everyone. Ironwood Grill, great place to go and enjoy a little bit of good eats. They got a nice float. Great float. I wonder if that's one of the floats that's going to be in the Thanksgiving Day Parade coming up uh, pretty I'm, soon. I bet it is. You never know. You know, just in front of Ironwood, we had the Detroit School of Rock and Pop, and that's a great concept. I think it was started by a local uh, <laughs> local businessman about five years ago, and it gives people like you, like me, mm -hmm. the ability to live out their fantasy of uh, playing in a rock and roll band. Of course, I... Uh, I don't have that fantasy anymore. You gave up on the fantasy? Yeah, I fantasy gave up on became, many of my fantasies. Became reality, unfortunately. <laughs> reality set in. Right. Oh, talking wow. about Ironwood. Talking about the uh, C&G newspaper, too. Yeah, that's right. They are uh, a part of this community, right? Of course, the Royal Oak Review. Birmingham Bloomfield Eagle and all the rest. Every community needs a great newspaper. and. Uh, that's what this uh, newspaper provides. C&G Newspaper publishes weekly Royal Oak Review, plus 18 other newspapers in Oakland, Macomb, and Wayne County. Then, of course, we have the uh, Royal Oak First United Methodist, or ROFM, uh, Bethlehem Marketplace Remembrance, 2015. Every two years, Royal Oak... Uh, First United Methodist Church sponsors the Bethlehem Marketplace, and this is their 14th year of doing that. After them, we've got the Our Credit Union. They've been in uh, our community since 1959. 1959 they've been here. Great community organization. Good place to keep your money. If gotta, you have it. Got to keep it somewhere. All right. Under, besides under my uh, mattress. And then after that. Cast Tech High School Marching Band. This is always a great event. Yeah, let's, that's going to be good. Let's hear what they have for us. Major Domo. Just that cool. Here we go. I'll tell you, as marching bands go, they, they got their own brand of marching, but it's they working. Sure do. This crowd loved it. That is, of course, the Castec Marching Band under the direction of Bryant McGee. Long tradition of music excellence. Not a bad football team either. Outstanding football team. Yeah. Really just a uh, great alumni base and a good school and long tradition in a lot of areas. They even, uh, how'd Brother Rice do this year? Uh, not so good. Not too good. This was not Brother Rice's year. We will. Uh, Always got to get the CC Brother Rice banter yeah. in there. Thank you for bringing that up, Carlo. Uh, That's what I do. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we, we're rebooting. 
we'll try again next year. So, Okay, as we say goodbye to the Cass Tech Band until next year, we have the Frederick Pankoff U.S. Air Force Junior Reserves Officer Training Corps. It's a new event this year. United States Air Force Junior, or ROTC as it's called, it's dedicated to building better citizens for America through programs such as teamwork and whatnot. And uh, we also want to bring up the Toys for Tots campaign, which is an outstanding annual tradition that the, uh, actually the Marines run. But uh, please give to that organization for uh, those who are in need, less fortunate than ourselves. After that, we had a holiday market coming through with our catering van. Holiday Market, your friendly neighborhood family-owned market. They've been here 60 years, and you know, we took a cooking class there last year. Outstanding, really fantastic. Here's one of our sponsors. Let's listen to him, Andy. Imagine, Imagine Theater. Theater. That, of course, was uh, Nick Cool and the gang. Nick Cool and the gang. Brought to you by the Imagine Theater. And they're available for weddings and parties. And then after that, we've got the rooftop landing rain bar, reindeer farm. Bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, yeah, bar whatever Mitchell's you want. The whole nine yards. I would assume, yeah. Rooftop landing. What were you going to say about the rooftop well, landing? They are uh, Santa's Michigan-based reindeer team. He sends here to greet all good boys and girls in the Royal Oak area. And don't forget, Kids Day every Sunday and Wednesday at Buffalo Wild Wings. And after Buffalo Wild Wings, who do we see, Carlo? We see, of course, the man in the red suit, Santa Claus, and his lovely bride, Mrs. Claus. They look good. They look, they look like they're good. ready for a busy holiday season. And they're probably going to be found at Buffalo Wild Wings after this, right? Either that or they're going to be shopping in Royal Oak and uh, their kids. Do they have children? If they do, they're going to be eating for free. I hope so. If they do, they got a lot of toys. All right, Andy, we'll be right back in a moment. We'll see you on the flip side. We will be back. Generosity. Marines have delivered Christmas to children in need since 1947.
And uh, without the, I'll tell you what, without all the volunteers for WROK, uh, of course, Richard and, and Mari Wilson. And we've got uh, Ken Bean, Brandon Tufts, Jim Nelson. Yeah, that's right. Dylan is out here with us. Brian Bush, Kurt Peterson, and Richard, you mentioned, and Mari. But we've got uh, Carlo Giannotti and Andy Aubrey. Let's not forget us. Yeah, can't but forget us. Beautiful day. Look at that. Just gorgeous skyline here in Royal Oak and Santa Claus. And weather held out for us we're in the spirit and just hope everyone has a very happy and healthy holiday season have a happy merry and a safe holidays and again give a shout out to all those military all those in the military who can't be with their families merry christmas and happy new year to all so long <laughs> 